Kings, I'm Rob Chappers. And I am the captain. And today we have stumbled by mere accident and good fortune upon the P-Rig, the Periphery and Pantera Rig of Joy. Wow, if you're into that sort of thing, but it also does an awful lot of other things too. If you're into that kind of thing. You guys may have watched, because it only went up recently, a video that Rob and I did on uh, a new guitar from Epiphone called the uh, Les Paul Ultra 3. Yes. Uh, and about two days after um, the Ultra 3 video went up, uh, Epiphone phoned me and said, oh, we've just had a, a final shipment of the Epiphone Ultra 2 that we weren't expecting. Uh, if we do you a really, really crazy low price, um, will you buy some? And uh, we did a deal and we bought some. <laughs> We bought a lot, uh, so Chappers and I are here to try and convince you to part with your hard-earned cash and buy an Epiphone Ultra 2. Not much convincing will be required when you see this absolutely stunning, almost like storm cloud across a racing sky of pain, sort of, uh, what is it called? Uh, it's the, this particular colour is um, Ebony Midnight, or Midnight Ebony, one of the two. Yeah, it's absolutely stunning, mate. Yeah. I so, think this is the nicest colour of the range. If you've seen the, the Ultra, any of the Ultra videos, you'll know that the concept with the Les Paul Ultra is to blend a regular Les Paul sound using the normal magnetic pickups here with um, a shadow nanomag acoustic sound so that the guitar can be blended between either being completely acoustic sounding, completely electric sounding or anything in between. And essentially that's what the Ultra 2 is. The Ultra 3 kind of took that to, to a, um, a, a, another, not necessarily another level, but it added um, a USB output, so, so it's kind of cool now that you can plug the Ultra 3 into your computer, and it had a nifty kind of tuner built yeah. into it. But other than that, the, the concept is basically the same. <laughs> So it's the same guitar, minus the tuner, minus the USB. And minus a lot of money yeah. now. Um, so the other difference on the, the Ultra 2 is that we've got gold hardware, which I think really complements these beautiful quilt tops. Um, and But other than that, it's the same. It's still a chambered guitar, so it's very light. I don't know if you, you know, how much lighter would you say that is than a normal? Well, it's about the weight of three kittens. About three kittens weight. Um, and still using the um, the Gibson designed uh, humbuckers. Still uh, got the shiny back, but the matte neck, yeah. which is a great idea. Still got the belly cut here. For fat people like me. Or the pectoral cut. Pectoral Pe cut. Pectoral. Pectoral? Oh. Pectoral. It's beautiful. But the wiring on this is a little different. I actually... I prefer this I wiring. I actually prefer the wiring, This yeah. is a lot simpler. You could use this in a gig. I, the kind of the, the blending of the... On the Ultra 3, it had gone more towards sort of switching either electric or acoustic. Yeah, Whereas which was this, a little bit cumbersome for me. Yeah. Whereas this is just simple. You just roll in all the volume, or I would do. Yeah. And turn the amplifier on. Yeah. Well, what, so let's do... Uh, we're using, just to give you an idea of the back line and the pedals we're using here, we've got a funky cool new uh, Ampeg model. Ampeg are kind of getting back into doing guitar amplifiers. You probably know they're the super famous bass amp manufacturer, but they have made, they, they did have some super cool amps back in the 70s. So they've started sort of reissuing those. So we've got a little 15 watt amplifier here, which is just a clean sounding amplifier with a bit of reverb. Then we've got uh, a, um, a purple plexi pedal from Love Pedal. A what try saying that in one go. A purple plexi pedal, which is a sort of a, you know, like a 70s rock sounding pedal. Uh, and we've got a Boss Metal Core, which is a kind of insane, that's where Chappers was getting his periphery. Well, this, kind plus of thing. this, and especially plus this, gives you the kind of Prantera periphery type tone. Now, I'm not going to tell you what the price is on the Ultra 2. You're going to have to go to the Anderson's website to find out how much uh, the, the guitar is. But let me tell you, before you buy any guitar uh, from uh, the Epiphone range, go check out how much this is because I think you'll be mighty surprised at just how low the price is. <laughs> Thank you. 
This one is serial number 101215121160. So if you get this one, you're a lucky person because it's absolutely stunning. So let's let's check it out. So this is the clean sound and Chappers is going to go through how you would blend uh, from the electric to the acoustic. Just using the bottom knob, you can roll it in and it's a, it crosses between the acoustic pickup and the electric pickup, so I'll fade it in gradually for you. And it comes a close up with the controls on the back of the guitar for you. So that's where you'd uh, that's where you'd adjust the, the gain and the, the bass and the treble for the acoustic sounds. Yeah, really, really simple way of doing it. So the acoustic volume knob is like a blend control, and I think that's really awesome because if you want to go between those kind of clean, twangy kind of acoustic sounds and then the thick gent of pain, you've got it all here. So here's the neck pickup, and I'll fade in that acoustic sound for you. Personally, I much prefer the kind of almost fully acoustic but not quite to get the blend of the two. If you were lucky enough or you know sort of pro enough if you like to actually have a different guitar amplifier for your acoustic guitar or you perhaps wanted to use the PA system. That's the hole for you. Yep, so <laughs> we, we've got it using the mono output so it's blending the acoustic and the electric into one and allowing us to just blend between the two or you could just have two leads, one to your electric guitar amp, one to your PA or your acoustic guitar amp and you could then you know as you did the blend it would uh, blend between the two amps. So the Nano Mag Shadow Pickup is awesome and the clean tones are great, but the reason I would get this set up is for the dirty tones. Because this thick, bass heavy focused animal mixed with this metal core pedal is unbelievable. <laughs> That's a metal rig. And now for a slightly pointless section, but he's so good we thought we'd include him. This is Dave from the Rob Chapman Band playing the bass. Bootsy Collins stuff. I don't. You don't, but you could probably wear these and, you know, do some Bootsy Collins, <laughs> couldn't you? You could definitely wear these. Yeah, Bootsy Collins Funk Tower Baby! <laughs> 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 he's got the lot, he's got the Bootsy lot. Plate, 
You can go and see the Rob Chapman band at a venue near you soon. Go here to find out more. Ha <laughs> <laughs>